where's the money? That's the question being raised about changing the name of Jeb Stewart High School to Justice High School. Last fall, after a contentious two-year battle, the Fairfax County School Board voted to make that change. But now, just five months away from the big change happening, the money isn't there. Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Peggy Fox has covered the story from the beginning and has more from what is still Jeb Stewart High School. When the new school year starts in September, Jeb Stewart High School will be Justice High School. But before that, all the signs need to be changed as well as uniforms for every sport and the marching band. A total of $400,000 is needed. Now, the school board pledged to try to raise that money through private funds, but only a quarter of that has come in, and at least one school board member is angry. The fundraising effort apparently has all but stalled out. School board member Elizabeth Schultz is angry after finding out about this letter to former Governor Terry McAuliffe asking him to be on the advisory board overseeing the Committee for Justice High School. It'll be tasked with raising $300,000 for the name change. If we're calling or writing letters to former governors asking for assistance, but it doesn't ever come to the full board. The superintendent's campaign for Justice High School case statement says $75,000 has been raised. Well, I think that's a good amount, and I certainly hope that people will, will, will continue to give. I plan to make a contribution myself. Parent Ken Longmire strongly advocated for a name change. Students seem prepared for the change. I think they have enough time to do it. And I mean, really, like, all the colors are staying the same. The only things that are really changing are, like, the big logo and, like, the football field. That'll take a while. Like, the end zones and the, and the football field, the signs. But other than that, like, the building will stay the same. A lot, a lot, I mean, almost the entire building is going to not change. Bottom line here is the name change will happen. Who pays for it is the question. If enough private funds don't come in, the school system will cover the rest, possibly with money from a reserve fund. In Falls Church, Peggy Fox, WUSA 9. School Board Chair Janie Strauss, who signed the letter to former Governor McAuliffe, tells WUSA 9 that neighbor letter nor the case, neither the letter nor the case statement about fundraising has been sent out or put out to the public.